name's Linda Sharp. I've been a missionary with World Venture since 1966. I was at the hospital for 22 years. Then I was director of an outpatient clinic for 16 years. I retired in 2006, came back in 2009, and have spent nine or ten months each year here since then. Most of the buildings at the hospital are anywhere from 20 to 50 years old. We were doing medicine much different when I came 40 years ago than what we're doing now. And we don't have the, the facilities to do what is being required. And so they need updating. There are other needs. We have national nurses now. When I first arrived here, our most trained African staff had a sixth grade education. To go from that level to now having four Ivoirian registered nurses, four African doctors, is fantastic. But there's still a role for missionary personnel. If we had a doctor here that was a teacher, and if we had doctors that would come out for a short period of time for a specialty, someone come out to help our hospital trained nurses uh, improve their skills, it would be fantastic. So there's still a lot of needs, particularly for short-term people. But I tell them, be ready for a lot of hard work. Be ready for challenges. Challenges physically, challenges emotionally, challenges spiritually, and for rewards. And then just to see the miracle that God works in people's lives when you combine help with the love of God. I could tell dozens and dozens of stories, but probably the one that is my special story is a man who, a school teacher, and when I first met him, he was curled up in a ball waiting to die. He'd been ill for several years, had gone to the government hospital for help, had not gotten help, had gone to tra traditional medicine, it hadn't helped. He came home to die. And his brother said, why don't you go to Baptist Hospital? Through radical surgery, six months in the hospital, chemotherapy, through the faithful witness of many people at the hospital, left the hospital a changed man. 20 years later, leading an active life, leader in the church, overseeing the Sunday schools in the Corogo area of over a thousand kids, and lo loving the Lord and still teaching as a retiree. There's hundreds of people that will say, I'm alive today because the hospital was there. I'm alive because my mother brought me to the hospital when I was dying. Many people have said, oh, but Linda, you have given up so much, spending a life in Africa. And I've said, no, the only sacrifice I've made being in Africa is being away from my family because I have benefited so much from being here. The people have taught me so much. I don't know if I have been able to teach them as much as they've taught me. 